So there's been a bit of a race amongst the YouTubers in the UK of who can um, uh, spill the beans on the new licensing framework. So yes, the um, full ticket in the UK is going to get a thousand watts. Uh, light, uh, intermediate, the half ticket, if you like, is 100 watts, and foundation are going to be on um, 25 watts. So, oh God, I haven't done the math. So that's about 4.5 dB for me, 4.5 dB for foundation, and a 3 dB increase for intermediate. The only thing I really want to announce is the fact they're going to introduce an M8 and M9 call. So if you hear an M8 next year sometime, or an M9, that'll be the intermediate call, not a 2E0. Um, they're going to allow E for England, so I could be Mike Echo Zero. Mike Charlie X-Ray, doesn't sound right, but whatever else. Uh, there are other odds and ends, simplifying rules and whatever else. Here's the uh, 25 watts for foundation, 100 watts intermediate, and 1,000 watts for full. On a primary allocation, so on one, most of 160, that'll still be 32 dB, dBW, which is 36 watts or something. There is a section for the SSB where you can do 1,000 watts. Remote control for foundation and intermediate, which is pretty good. Uh, something about repeaters uh, without requiring a notice of uh, variation. Foundation license to build their own equipment and access to 2.4 and 5 gigs. Some airborne use over frequency bands. We've never had that before. There's some stuff here. Increase the period before a call sign can be reissued to five years. Reissued. Okay, so if I dropped M0 MCX... Five years later, it could be released again. Do you know, I don't have a problem with that. It's like a bloody number plate for a car, you know, registration plate. It's, it doesn't belong to me. It's a li licensed number. If they want to reissue it, whatever. Other odds and ends. Oh, that's it. That link there I'll put in the description. But I suggest you have a read it. It's, it's well written, as is usual with Ofcom. When they did this first announcement in the summer, I thought it was really well written. And incidentally... If we go to the place here, uh, the green bars are the people saying yes, and the blue bars are the people saying no. And these are all the questions that they had. So in the main, you can see that most people agreed with most of what they were proposing. Good. All right. So there we are. When is that going to happen? Well, if you look at the document, you'll find about page three-ish. We will publish our final decisions in February following the conclusion of this process. So fundamentally, if you read the very beginning, the document is setting out our decision to update the amateur radio license framework to provide greater operating freedom. So that's what this is all about. All the dates and stuff are going to come out sometime in February, March. I would have thought April, May, June, you know, midnight on, you know, such and such a night. We'll be on a thousand watts or something and with feeder losses that means my acom 2000s will come into its own and i can genuinely do 1500 watts on 15 meters probably 12 1300 watts on 20. i'll have to look at the losses on the coax now because i've got about 70 meters there so anyway hi please because i've beaten everybody else to it just for a good laugh all right have a good day i'm recording aren't i <laughs> i'll see you next time okay uh, all the best now